Okay, guys, I want to start, um, I might have mentioned it before, I can't remember, but I keep dragging my feet and I'm just going to start it and then go from there. Uh, just kind of a series I want to call Baby Steps to Health. And I might expand that to Baby Steps for other things, but basically... Um, being healthy in America and other countries where fast food is everywhere is very difficult. And again, I want to make a disclaimer. This food is not necessarily healthy. But the key word I want to point out here is baby steps. There's ways you can eat and reduce your calories a little bit and um, eat healthier. Wherever you're at, I recommend taking baby steps to get towards the healthier side. Basically, health in my opinion, is kind of like on a scale. So you have on one end, like really unhealthy. And on the other end, you have extremely healthy. And wherever you're starting at, you're not likely to get to extremely healthy overnight. You have to change your habits. You can't just go on some crash diet and lose some weight. And you can do that, but you're more than likely to put it all back on sometimes more because it's like your body's rebelling against the deprivation. But the Key point is when you take baby steps, you don't feel deprived. It's kind of like you're tricking yourself to reduce your calories and to eat healthier little by little so that you don't notice it too much, so that your inner child doesn't rebel as much, and then you can get healthier, but you not you can stay on track and not rebel and then just quit your diet or quit whatever plan you're on, etc. So a few little tips today I want to in and out. Obviously, this is not healthy. Eating out is not. Um, however, there's ways you can make it healthier and I don't eat out that often. I'm trying to kick back, but, um, today's the last day before I'm getting back on, uh, keto again. I, I kind of been on it, but whenever I start keto, I allow myself to what I call cheat forward, where if I really, really want to cheat, I let myself. And then as I go, I improve. So even if I'm not perfectly sticking to the plan, I'm still reducing my calories and I'm still eating healthier overall by the week. Now I don't cheat every single day and I don't, you know, it's just like, especially in the beginning, if I've been used to eating a lot of fast food or whatever, you know, um, I give myself a little grace basically. And so this is kind of, uh, how you want to do it. Sorry. I don't know if it blinked out cause my battery is being funky. Hopefully it won't die in me, but I'll try to finish this real quick. So, um, anyway, so I got just a regular cheeseburger, not a double do you really need a double cheeseburger? Uh, when you eat fast food, I would say take smaller bites and eat mindfully because a lot of times it tastes so good and it's just like salty and greasy and cheesy and all that. You eat way more than you need and you spend more money and you spend more calories than you need and then just feel sluggish because you ate too much. Um, so here's my little tips. First of all, don't get a drink. This is just water. I threw a lemon in there. What I do is this is free. Um, I take one of the lemons from there. It's up to you if you trust it or not. But a lot of times with citrus, it's probably not organic, whatever. But um, the acid kind of kills some of the germs. So whatever. Um, it's up to you if you want to do that. But I take a lemon and I squeeze some of it into the water and then I stick the rest of the lemon in there. You can always rinse off your lemon, you know, whatever. Um, so I got my little lemon water. You could even make a lemonade, get yourself some stevia, put it in there. If you really need a drink, I don't really, I, I kind of like the taste of just lemon water. But that's me. So I eat that. And then I got my regular fries. I get my burger animal style, which here's my receipt is free. See, and then I get a fry and then that's it. So I spent about six bucks. When I looked at all of the meals, pretty much they were about 10 bucks and up. Um, and I think it started as like a double cheeseburger. I didn't, I didn't look at every single detail, but I don't need to be spending $10 for lunch slash dinner or whatever. Um, and animal styles, basically you get um, extra onions and extra sauce. I don't think they add any extra cheese. I think they do charge if you add it to your fries because they add cheese and sauce and onions, but extra sauce. So it's like, it's very filling. And then I'm going to add some ketchup. I like my burger really saucy and I got this <laughs> to go and I ran some errands. So it's not super fresh right now, but um, you can also omit the salt because that does kind of bloat you if you want to. You don't have to. It's up to you. But um, tips to make it healthier. Don't buy a drink. Just get yourself some water, lemon water, or bring some with you. They offered me the cups. So I'm like, heck yeah, why not? 
drink some water before you eat it because sometimes you eat more when you're thirsty. Get regular fries. Get yourself some ketchup to dip it in. You don't need to add the cheese and all of that to your fries unless that is your meal because it's just more filling. And because it's delicious, you're going to eat more. And get one cheeseburger. Unless you're a giant person, you probably don't need a double cheeseburger. If that's your meal for the day, sure. But the whole point is get it animal style. I add a little bit of calories, but not as much as an extra burger that you probably don't need. And if you're like me, if it's delicious and you have food, you feel like you have to finish it. So I will eat whatever I have in front of me, even if I'm like too full. And sometimes, I don't know, I like that too full feeling. But get a singular cheese, get a singular cheeseburger. Or even I think, I don't know if you can save money by doing just a burger. I don't recall seeing that on the menu, but it might not be. Omit the cheese if you can. I don't go to In-N-Out very often. Get regular fries or just get a burger. If you're not going to get fries, maybe get a double cheeseburger. Then you get a little extra protein and then eat that. I didn't feel like that, so this is what I got. I paid about 6 bucks instead of 10 bucks, So I save money and I save calories. Um, so this is just an example of little ways you can save calories. Probably two or 300 calories just in your drink alone another few hundred calories, that extra burger you don't need. And if you add cheese to your fries, you're probably looking at another hundred calories. So you cut out quite a bit by just little tips. Anyway, hope this helps guys. Have a good day. Bye.